Hello again, my friends. This is Dan, the GM, picking the room up right where we left off. So, in the last episode, we were able to put that strange null engine, battery, focuser, whatever you want to call it, on a strange pedestal in this strange dimension that we entered. A invisible or door that was in total blackness opened up, shining a bright light at us and sucking us deep within an unknown realm. And we are going to pick up right there. So, we have found a table with a very small box in an area that is just, you can't see past the dark shroud and there's all this big clockwork machinery. This kind of looks like what I was seeing a couple episodes ago inside the, the box, the little smaller box. Well, let's see what this guy has to say. A queer sense of movement, not quite turning, not quite falling. I felt myself across the threshold and visions abated. Perhaps they only serve to drive me to this place. The route back closes behind me, but a way forward opens up. Something is drawing me on. In case you are with me, I will try to guide you along the path. I pray you never came. I pray you are just another of my dreams. And there's some type of clue here. So. Hmm. Strange in numbers there. Strange thing there. Just trying to see what we can. St it looks like there's a switch right here. There's a gear missing. Of course there's a gear missing. Why wouldn't there be a gear missing? Limited edition English drum table. Mm hmm. Not really that helpful there, is it? Hmm. Maybe this has got something we gotta do. No. Let's take a look at this box up here. Hmm. You know, I always forgot. Lens first. Looks like there's a little tray right there. There's a switch. I've got a small gear with a triangle on it. And if I remember right, I thought I saw... Yep. So this should go here. And we click the button. Ah. Alright, so... <coughs> Alright, so I got the black hook, so I guess I now need to do that gold one. So if we do this, this... There we go. Got a little switch here, which gives us... A 
a strange orb. Alright. Hmm. And we've got a square gear now. And we saw the square. Oh, wait. Hold on. What's this? One dot is a triangle. Two dots is the squiggly thing. And three dots is an S with two dots. We've seen these symbols before. Where did we see those? There. So one dot was the triangle. So one dot was the triangle, two dots was this, three dots, oh that is three dots, three dots is this, two dots I believe was this one. We got a strange coin. But we now have the piece for this puzzle, so let's complete that. Old faded tarot cards, which are looks like death is ripped. And I see voyage. Take that. Hmm. Where did we see? Yeah. Oh. Something that just passed. Okay, so. Alright, like a little metal gate maybe? Or is that maybe the notes that are going to play? It looks like there's something that f flies by. There is. So we've got a key. I wonder if this one? No. Nope. There we go. Yeah, I passed it. No, I didn't. It's this one. Metal plate. Hmm. So we've got a coin. This looks like a coin slot. So maybe... No. Hmm. <coughs> Not there. Well, we've got this strange thing here. So if we do this... coin slot. Is this like Simon says? This is exactly like Simon Says, except on a harpsichord. Metal handle. Metal handle. And then the strange harpsichord disappears. 
Hmm. So I've got a key and two metal handles. And I see a keyhole. What the heck? Alright, so this symbol looks like the key that's on the one side, but what is this? I don't recognize any of those symbols. I've got that symbol, so maybe... Maybe that's the symbol that's he... No... I can't interact with those, so... Looks like this is for this one, maybe? That's for that one? Maybe? Come on. So yeah, now it gives me this weird slider thing again. I think it was that one? Yeah, I think it was that one. And then... There's that straight... There's this note that's missing. A notepad with a sketch of the null element. Yeah, that doesn't really help me any. And then that was the weird, like, double C. There. Okay. I'm guessing here because that's the one that had this. Okay, so button, button. Um, so these rotate. These look like they're that same shimmer that I used this spectacle for. Five, seven, five, seven, three. Five, seven, three. All right, so what the heck? Um, I guess we need to look in here. These two things look similar, so this is left to right. So, okay, so that means that a opening, all right, so I guess what I need to do is figure out how to find openings on this side. And it should correlate with openings on the opposite side. Alright, so I need to find two more openings. So if this is left to right, is this what? Okay, so if we go that way. Alright, so that's not right. So if we go here, here, here. Alright, that's good. That's got one more to go. And I think I should have it lined up if I go that way. That should give me the last square. This still gives me a really creepy, like, Hellraiser vibe. Got a red gem with a r circle in it. Hmm. Okay, so I don't. I have a feeling this red gem goes in here. 
There it is. So we go red gem, obviously, is going to go there. And it looks like the other gems are over here. All right, got the blue one. So that means I just need to get these down here. So if we go here. I wonder if I can get them down here ahead of time. So we do this. Got my yellow gem. I got one more to get, and I should already have this pretty much set up. So we do that. Swing that down. And then come over here. Grab this gem. And now we put them in their places. All right. I don't know what to do now. Maybe this has something to do with it? Eyeball? Okay. Oh. I have no clue what that puzzle was or if I had just instinctively fixed it. Okay. Whoa. What the heck? This reminds me of that puzzle we did in the last chapter where we have to get this to the center. So if we go here, what happens if we click? Okay. Click. Once you get the hang of this puzzle, it's actually not that bad. Alright. So... I'm guessing... Lens? Lens. Um, okay, hold on. So there's two symbols, and it's the lineup thing. Alright, so I have to do this again, but in a different position. So let's swing over here so I can see it better. Alright. So... I need to get it onto that little zigzag. So we go here. There. And then... Yeah. There we go. Okay, so this one I'm going to have to rotate. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's right there. And... Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There was someone right there. Um. What the? Ah. Okay. So. I made it through. Hmm. It seems as if I am now trapped like the other guy did. And... I no longer have the lens. There was some strange guy with a top hat and a door that was super creepy looking. Huh. Well then, guys, that's, that is the end of 
the room. I'm to have the other ones, and I guess I'm going to be working on them next. I did not expect a to be continued. I know that we are waiting on the other game, the other puzzle game we did, to be released. But, yeah, if you guys have suggestions for puzzle games you want to see me play, or anything like that, you can find me at Twitter, at WhatTheDicePod. Find us, follow us, and shoot me suggestions for games you think you want me to play. And as always, don't forget to catch our podcast every week here at YouTube and on all major streaming platforms. I bid you all a fair day, and I'm going to go install the next game. <laughs>